Hi, my name is Jacob Miles and I'm only 17 years old. For most of my life, I've been, I've been drawing and, sell, and several different research from watch films and documentaries and TV series about dinosaurs. And that brings me even to this day. I still love dinosaurs when I was a kid and and as a college student I also love dinosaurs. I tell my friends about the interesting facts about the dinosaurs so I'm going to refer to you guys the top 5 creatures of dinosaurs in the modern day the series. So let's start with creature number one. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, in this picture, I've drawn, basically I traced an image on the internet about Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it's starting to get the details by adding the keratin crests as a series of small scales and then I add the stripes onto the uh, animal and then add some feathers if it depends on scientific research about Tyrannosaurus Rex and what's interesting is that people had several theories that the young T-Rexes may not have feathers and it was shown in the documentary series Prehistoric Planet and also in this illustration we have a herd Triceratops by protecting, protecting the young against the T-Rex because these animals would prefer hunting the young instead of the adults because have these really long horns on the top of his frill and that's why Tyrannosaurus Rex has made better choices depending on their survival skills and even added a Quetzal Palatlas into this spot as well and here are some footage on Tyrannosaurus Rex now on today's T-Rex is a bit chunky but its arms are facing pretty much like this way instead of that way because in Jurassic Park the T-Rex specifically now the arms were holding pretty much this way instead of being on the side and now it's the same thing with the Velociraptors, which I'm going to talk about in number 2. Now, Velociraptors are the size of a turkey nowadays, covered in feathers, similar to those of a, of a bird. And let me show you some of my drawings of Velociraptor. And this is my illustration of Velociraptor. On this drawing, I added some details by simply adding feathers onto the animal and then added some small scales on top of the head to get it into more of a bird-like appearance and the eyes specifically have more detail because I added a white dot to make it like if you look in my eye for example I can see the reflection going on into my eye and that is the same thing that I've done with these dinosaurs and also and, and also other creatures which is Acrocanthosaurus and Brachiosaurus which I'm gonna talk about next. So the Brachiosaurus in Dinosaurs in the Modern Day in the series is actually depicting a large prehistoric dinosaur with a really long neck with a crest on top of its head that could be used for breathing when when underwater. Now this specific animal in particular we had no idea what the skull originally looked like until in the 1990s in Jurassic Park they had a, a feature to the Brachiosaurus's head by adding a um, to make it more like the dinosaur giraffe titan which is actually the closest 
relative to Brachiosaurus if it depends on their size. Then the next creature I'm going to talk about is Acrocanthosaurus. Now Acrocanthosaurus is pretty much like Spinosaurus but instead of have the spine like this way is preserved more attached from the head all the way up to the tail pretty much like this which actually means hind spine lizard it was discovered in the 1950s when people are starting to see dinosaurs a bit more because when people discovered dinosaurs there were these huge lizards but nowadays they were more like into birds and possibly other reptile species and the fourth creature i'm going to talk about is geosombergia now there's some footage from right here on geosombergia which is a, a pterosaur not a dinosaur but a flying reptile in the main actually had a larger, more colourful crest on top of his head than the females and a shorter crest and the male had a bigger crest actually here's this and it looks like over there yes. Yes. and that is an aspect work called sexual dimorphism which is similar to those modern day animals that that there is a difference between the males and the females and the fifth creature I want to talk about is the Mesosaur Tylosaurus Now Tylosaurus are these huge whale lizards but with a, a short tail instead of like the, like the tail of a whale that people are that first discovered mesosaurs, they were more like crocodile lizards, but nowadays they are more well, a bit chunky and more whale like lizards, similar to those of could be similar to those of Basilosaurus, which is a prehistoric creature that lived way after the dinosaur and actually one of the first whales in the world. I hope you enjoy Top 5 Dinosaurs with Jacob James Files, the creator of Dinosaurs in the Modern Day the series. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Turn on personal notifications so you never miss another episode in the series or could just watch the whole series. Like I'm starting to watch the documentary series, series called Frozen Planet 2 which is similar to prehistoric planet but with modern day animals in the Arctic colds or in the mountains if it depends on, like, on their vacation so make sure you catch up on the next episode of Dinosaurs in the Modern Day the series or if you haven't not seen the series if you're new around here make sure you check out episode 1 called The Lost Tribe this is me Jacob Miles, peace out